comes the predator. Jump up out, but I'll be back. Jump up out, but I'll be back. Jump up out, but I'll be back. Oh shit. Hey, jump up out. Here comes the predator. Hey folks, how you doing? My name's Tim Black and welcome to Duh News. Hey folks, how you doing? It's me, Tim the Bartender, aka Tim Black. And you're tuned into the news. We probably just met yesterday. Because yesterday I did a video that's kind of going viral. It's about the Range Rover and the biker interaction. Activity. Fucking clusterfuck. That's what it is. It's a clusterfuck. I made some mistakes yesterday. I did. You know, I'm human. Besides, unlike your politicians, I don't use a teleprompter. Christopher Cruz was the guy who was slowing down the Range Rover. He was the guy mashing on the brakes, trying to impede the progress or the freedom or detain Mr. Lean. Now, we know, I now know after watching some clips in an interview that Mr. Cruz gave, he didn't even apologize for doing that shit. This is the guy who caused the whole shit, in my opinion. This guy. But people are not mad. You bikers aren't mad at Christopher Cruz. Oh, no. You're mad at me. I wouldn't there. I wouldn't ride in a bike. Now, Christopher Cruz is full of shit, but I know his lawyers are putting him up to it. That's no excuse, though, Mr. Cruz. You did this shit. You should have to carry that blame, at least a portion of it. Now, what else? Oh, okay, Mr. Link. A lot of you guys hate Mr. Lin. Why? Because he has money. People, so we got this thing where anybody who's successful, we fucking hate them. But the fact that Mr. Lin has a good job or whatever the fuck does not mean he's a bad guy. Not by default. And unless you can give me some type of proof or evidence that says he's an asshole, until then, I'm going to assume he's a decent human being. The same thing I'm doing for you. I'm assuming you're a decent human being. All right? Now, if he threw a bottle, someone said he threw a plastic bottle at one of the bikers, someone's telling me that he clipped the biker and then he didn't stop, well, maybe he was scared to stop, but hey, yeah, he should have stopped. But from what I understand, he did try to call 911 several times, but the cops never came. Other issues I really didn't touch on yesterday were the fact that there were cops present. They could have called themselves, but they fucking didn't. See where I'm going? See my dilemma? To try to be equal opportunity mangler here. You're not giving me much to go on, biker guys. You're not. You're breaking the law. You got cops with you that are breaking the law. And all this shit's going on. Another thing. Another reason why I really can't stick it to Mr. Lynn. Because believe me, I'd love to stick it to anybody who's wrong. That's what I do. That's my job. I don't get paid to do it. I do it because I have a passion for it. All right? I can't fault Mr. Lin too much because he was, I don't believe that he put his wife in the car, he said wife get in the car and put the baby in the car and let's go out and run over some fucking bikers today. I don't think that was his intention. I don't think that's how he lives his life. I just, I just feel that way. That's my gut telling me that the situation that he was put in, it may have been an overreaction, but it was a reaction based on circumstances that were beyond his control that were instigated by the fucking bikers who decided they were going to fuck with him for whatever reason. And he was driving erratic. That, you're not the cops. You are a rider. Call it in. That's what I have to do. That's what you have to do. And you don't have a different set of rules because it's 50 of you and one of me. You understand? Now, I didn't see Mr. Lin gunning his fucking truck at the riders. I just saw him go forward and try to leave. He ran past about five riders, and he didn't try to hit them. I know I don't really want you guys to get run the fuck over. But if you try to hurt me, you will get run the fuck over. You understand? Same shit you would do. Same shit. You just don't like me saying it. Now, Mr. Miesis. I do not wish that this man was paralyzed. Why would, why would you assume such that I would want some man to be paralyzed? No, that's not what I want. I'm sorry the man got hurt. I even said I wish it never happened. I wish he never got hurt. Now, 
Do I think he has responsibility for this? Yes, he has a point, some responsibility for this. He does. Because when I was 12 years old, I saw some guys fighting. They was fighting. Pow. You know, do your thing, do your thing. We over there chanting and talking shit and watching the whole thing. I came home, I was talking to my brother. And I was telling him, I said, hey, man, they was fighting out there. My mother heard me. She's like, what are you talking about? I said, mom, they was fighting. She said, how you know they was fighting? I said, well, I was watching them fight. Smack me upside my motherfucking head. And she told me something. I won't forget it. I'll never forget it. She said, if you are witnessing a fight, you want to sit there and be nosy and shit and watch the shit. If you get hit, that's your fault. Mind your motherfucking business and take your ass home. You take your ass home. Now, that's a lesson I learned at like 12 that Mr. Miesis obviously hadn't learned. So, yes, he does own some responsibility, even if you say he was just sitting there reading the Bible while the shit went down. Let me make this let me make this clear for you. Crystal fucking clear. I do all types of stories on all types of issues. I am not uh, obsessed with this issue. All right. I did Syria. I did Egypt. I do child molesters, pedophiles. All types of sick, deranged killers and psychos and serial killers and US, U.S. government shit that's fucked up with the NSA wiretappings. If you got a story you want me to do, you send me a link at Tim Bartender. You send me some email or whatever the fuck. You can contact me. And if it's a good story, I'll do it. But don't send me footage of Bigfoot. I don't believe in Bigfoot. Fuck your Bigfoot stories. Send me other shit. And if I believe the story, I get behind it, I'll, I'll do it. That's how I get all of my information. That's how I get the stories that I do. Because see, sometimes people want someone to tell a story in just such a way that's full of passion, that's full of real opinion, that's honest from his point of view. Not some corny reporter guy sitting up there reading off a teleprompter being told what to say to appear to, to appeal to the demographic target area of said uh, channel and its stockholders. That's why people like Tim the bartender. That's why they tune into Tim Black. That's why they watch Tim's Take Live. I want you to have an opinion, but don't fucking try to intimidate me. I will not be intimidated or made to put my head in the ground and I will not lie. You want a different story, you give me different facts. You want a different story, you give me different evidence. Until that time, I'll do the stories the way I want to do them based on what the fuck I have at the time. You're not the only ones who don't like some of the shit I say. I did a story on a woman who hired a hitman to kill her husband. I bet you she had a lot of excuses for that shit. But I didn't listen to him and I hammered her ass. And that's what I do. All right, I'm done. I've kept you, I've kept you long enough. Hit me up on Twitter at Tim Bartender and stop harassing me and stop acting like it's the end of the fucking world because someone said these bad, these fucking bikers were wrong. They were fucking wrong. Even the Hells Angels says they're wrong. I agree with the Hells Angels. I thought they, their actions were deplorable and it's not uh, no way indicative of all writers. If anything, if you're a, a writer with a conscience, if you're a writer who tries to obey the law, if you're a writer who doesn't like the stigma that these other fuckers are given, you should be mad at those bikers for doing it. They're making you look like an animal. They're making you look like you can't be trusted. They're making you look bad. Not me. Don't blame me. Blame the fuckers that did it. That's how I feel about it. Speedy recovery to Mr. Mr. Miasis. I wish no paralysis on anybody. God damn, like I would want a man to lose the use of his fucking legs. I'm out of here.